Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 329. I have already chosen what you will. Father, I thought I wandered from your will, defied it, broke its laws, and interposed a second will more powerful than yours. Yet what I am in truth is but your will, extended and extending. This I am, and this will never change. As you are one, so am I one with you. And this I choose in my creation, where my will became forever one with yours. That choice was made for all eternity. It cannot change and be in opposition to itself. Father, my will is yours, and I am safe, untroubled, and serene, in endless joy because it is your will that it be so. Today we will accept our union with each other and our source. We have no will apart from his, and all of us are one because his will is shared by all of us. Through it we recognize that we are one. Through it we find our way at last to God. I'll read it again. I have already chosen what you will. Father, I thought I wandered from your will, defied it, broke its laws, and interposed a second will more powerful than yours. Yet what I am in truth is but your will, extended and extending. This am I, and this will never change. As you are one, so am I one with you. And this I choose in my creation, where my will became forever one with yours. That choice was made for all eternity. It cannot change and be in opposition to itself. Father, my will is yours. And I am safe, untroubled, and serene, in endless joy, because it is your will that it be so. Today we will accept our union with each other and our source. We have no will apart from his, and all of us are one because his will is shared by all of us. Through it we recognize that we are one. Through it we find our way at last to God. This is a beautiful lesson. I'm not sure that I can do much more with it, um, but what you'll find is, is as you work with this lesson and realize, so we spend, I guess I will spend a little time with it. We spend a lot of time in resistance. We spend a lot of time wanting things to be different than they are. When we have pain, we don't work with the pain. We tend to want to work against the pain. We want the pain to go away, and we want it to go away as soon as possible. And so we go into a, a mental state of resistance, which, as I hope you, you all know, what we resist will persist, because it's what we're putting our attention on. We're putting our attention on the thing we don't want, and that's how the universe works. Whatever our attention is on is what we're going to get more of because that's what the universe thinks we want, because our attention is on it. And so in this lesson, what, what it's really saying is it's that up until now, I thought I wandered away from your will, right? Defied it, broke its laws, interposed a second will more powerful than yours. Well, first of all, our human will, our egoic will is no... No, nowhere near as powerful as God's will. So it didn't work. Even though we're trying, we think we're trying to have this will that's separate from God, we are not more powerful. So this I am, and this will never change, in that you are God's will. So accepting that, embracing that, realizing that you are whole, realizing that you are exactly as God intended, 
in any given moment. We have no will apart from his, and all of us are one because his will is shared by all of us. Through it, we recognize that we are one. Through it, we find our way at last to God. It's a great lesson. If you'd like additional support, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or my website's lindalamp.com or lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow, much love and namaste.